Hi there, Bedtime Book Club friends. How are you? Welcome to Miss Heather's Bedtime Book Club. I'm Miss Heather. I'm with the Children's Museum of Green Bay. And each and every Wednesday at the museum at 930, we read a story. And at night, we read a story here on YouTube so that everyone can join us. And I know how much you love to read and I know how much you love stories. So um, I'm so happy to once again be back with you on this Wednesday night. My sweet kind friends, every book that we read here on Bedtime Book Club is selected by you watching. True story. So if you have a book that you would love to share with me and would like me to read, I would love to hear from you. You can instant message me at Books with Miss Heather or at the Children's Museum of Green Bay or send a message to the YouTube or Facebook pages or website, any of those uh, Children's Museum and we'll get those and we would love to hear from you and find out what your favorite books are. Tonight, we are reading a story called Meet the People in Your Neighborhood and we're gonna learn about some police officers and it's part of Elmo's World from Sesame Street. So if you have a copy of this book, please go grab it so that you can read along. If you do not, please consider adding this to your library. We love reading about people in our neighborhood. And all this month at the Children's Museum of Green Bay, we are learning about people in our neighborhood. So two weeks ago, we learned about our mayor. And last week, we learned about another community helper, our post person, the person that brings us our mail. And there's all sorts of different mail that can be brought to your house, right? Yeah, that was a really fun story. Um, and you can go back and watch those if you haven't seen those before. And tonight we are going to learn about police officers. Now at the museum, my very good friend, Officer Carlson, came to the museum to read with us. And it was such a special treat. And we do invite guests to the museum from time to time. So please make sure to look at our schedule to see who's coming to read with us and shares our love for reading and to learn more about them. It's pretty amazing. So part of the reason we're doing uh, Meet the People in Your Neighborhood is because one of our most favorite people on the planet, uh, who is no longer with us, but his name was Mr. Rogers, um, inspired this month in our theme. And it just so happens that it is his birthday today. So happy birthday, Mr. Rogers. We adore you and um, are so, so very glad for all that you've done for us. And as a little girl, my sweet kind friends, he really taught me that I was a special person. Just like you watching, you're a special person. And taught us the message that we need to love ourselves because we're so amazing. Do you love yourself? I hope so. First and foremost, we need to love ourselves. And then we need to love our neighbors. And those neighbors are the people we're learning about and um, not just necessarily the people that live right next door to us. So we love that message and um, are so glad that you are here to read and learn more about police officers with this book with us. Um, also along those lines, my sweet kind friends, do you really know how amazing you are? You don't? <gasps> well, let me remind you. I think that you are kind. I think you are smart. I think you are funny. I think that you are unique. That's a big word. Do you know what unique is? It's when there's not anything else in this world like it. That's what that means. And there is no one in this world like you. So please, my sweet kind friends, don't ever change for anyone because I love you just the way you are. I do. You are unique and amazing. So please stay true to who you are, okay? Okay. Before we get started with tonight's story, I would like to sing because I love to sing. Will you sing with me? Yay. Okay, good. If you're ready to read the story, clap your hands. If you're ready to read the story, clap your hands. If you're ready to read the story, then you'll really want to hurry. If you're ready to read the story, clap your hands. If you're ready to read the story, please sit down. If you're ready to read the story, please sit down. If you're ready to read the story, then you'll really want to hurry. If you're ready to read the story, please sit down. 
awesome job singing. I love to sing and I love that you just sang with me. So thank you. And I love even more that you are waiting with us. Let's meet the people in our neighborhood. Police officers. Here we go. Elmo is thinking about people who help keep Elmo's neighborhood safe. They wear special badges when they are working. Can you guess who they are? Police officers. Very good. That's right. Elmo is thinking about police officers. These are Elmo's friends, Walter and Madeline. Hello, I'm Walter. Part of my job is making sure people follow the rules that keep everyone in the neighborhood safe. Thank you, Walter. And Madeline. Hi, I'm Madeline. I love being a police officer because I like to help people. When I'm not working, I like to play tennis. That's fun. Walter and Madeline. And of course, you know this guy right here. Who is that? Elmo wants to know more about police officers. Where can you find a police officer? Well, you might see a police officer in the park. If you are ever lost in the park or anywhere else, look for a police officer. We'll help you find your mommy or daddy or your grown-up. That's our job. You might see a police officer in the street directing traffic. This helps keep people safe when they're driving in their cars. It helps keep pedestrians safe too. Pedestrian, that's a really large word again. A pedestrian is what someone is when they are walking across the street. So you are a pedestrian when you're walking across the street in the crosswalk? Mm -hmm. And other people are too. Neat. How do police officers get around? Some police officers drive in police cars or ride motorcycles or walk around the neighborhood. Some even have bicycles. Some police officers even ride horses or scooters. Dorothy imagines that Elmo is a police officer. Who is Dorothy? Elmo's fish. There he is on the horse. Police cars have special sirens. If you hear a police car siren, it means that the police are rushing somewhere to help somebody. Can Elmo hear the siren? Sorry, Elmo. We only use the siren for emergencies. Police car sirens can be very loud, but don't be scared. If you hear one, you can always cover your ears if you want to. The loud noise that the siren makes let people know we're in a hurry to get somewhere quickly and safely. Good to know, Walter. Elmo can think of some other vehicles that have sirens, too. Can you? Here he is, a fire truck and an ambulance. Very good. Elmo likes to follow the rules, and Elmo likes to help people. Maybe Elmo will be a police officer someday. Elmo, you can be anything you want to be. And so can you. The end. Wow. I loved how Elmo um, shared with us that police officers help keep our neighbors safe. And we learned that they wear a uniform and badges. And we can see them in many different places. What was your favorite part of this book? Yeah, I like that part too. Thank you so very much for reading this book with me. And thank you to my kind friend who suggested for us to read it. Meet the people in your neighborhood. Police officers, our title. 
And thank you, sweet Elmo, for sharing such a fun story and for learning about those police officers. My name again is Ms. Heather. I get to work at the Children's Museum of Green Bay, and I would love it if you came to see us sometime. I sure would. So ask your grown up um, when you can come visit us. If it's for story time, even better, but you can come visit us any single time you want to. It really is a fun space. Uh, we, we love to learn and play and have fun. So I would love to see you. And if you have a book request, let your grown ups know because I'd love to hear about all the fun books that you're reading. True story. Okay, before we go to bed, my sweet kind friends, guys, make sure to put on your nice cozy jammies. Brush those teeth, my friends. Oh, I know sometimes people pretend that they brush their teeth and they really don't. And then they get cavities and it's oh, it's so sad. I love your smile. Brush your teeth. I brush my teeth every night. I smile. Brush your teeth. And my sweet kind friends, my unique friends, please have the sweetest sleeps ever because I love you like crazy. And I'll see you next week. Okay. You matter. And I'm proud of you. Sweet sleeps. Bye.